Opening the batting in my all-time 11, I'm going with Alistair Cook and Matthew Hayden. Uh, Cook is going to be the captain of the side. He's just such a solid, dependable batsman and England's leading all-time run scorer in, in that format. So he's great to have there. And I think Hayden would have complimented Cookie's style a lot with his um, aggressive approach. Quite scary to bowl to. In at three, uh, I'm going to have Ricky Ponting. He brings that real competitive edge as a, as a player in your side. Um, gives nothing to the opposition and I like that in a player. At number four, I'm going to have Sachin. Um, obviously 200 test matches, absolute legend of the game uh, and his record speaks for himself. Number five, I'm having the flair uh, and the incredible run scoring and record breaking Brian Lara. I was fortunate to play in his last ever game for the West Indies in a, in a one day international, um, but would love to have played against him more because he was an incredible cricketer to watch. Number six, I'm going to have Callis. Uh, my view, greatest all-rounder of all time, bowled you a lot of overs, 200 and plenty test wickets and uh, I think six is probably a bit low for him but when you've got that amount of quality above him, it's hard to get him any higher. Number seven, my wicket keeper, uh, Matt Pryor, very influential in England beginning to win Ashes series because he changed, helped change the mindset of the team to become winners, to become aggressive and actually front up to teams. Number eight, I'm going for Richard Hadley, um, Nottinghamshire legend, uh, incredible bowler, his record speaks for himself, but um, just the influence he had on Nottinghamshire and Trent Bridge uh, and the way my dad speaks about him as a bowler, it's, it's important to have him in there. Number nine, uh, Shane Warne as my spinner um, and vice captain. I, I really thought um, a lot about putting him as captain because he, he was sort of untried at the top level at, at that, but it would be quite intriguing to see how he went. But one of the greatest leg spinners of all time, well the greatest leg spinner of all time, but the way he created theatre when he bowled as well. So that sort of character I like having in my team. My opening bowling partnership will be Glenn McGrath and Jimmy Anderson. They're both fighting out for the number 11 spot as well. But, um, Two unbelievable new ball bowlers. Um, Glenn McGraw was my hero growing up. Um, had a real influence on, on how I look to play the game. Uh, and Jimmy, I've learned a huge amount from playing with. I've watched uh, a lot of his overs live and from the other end, and he's, he's been brilliant to play with and has had a huge influence on my career. And that's my all-time 11. What's yours?